if you want to talk about ancient technology, speaking of this, like on the left, that Trident, uh, yeah. many accredited it to being originated from the Vajra. And did you see Elon Musk's bedside uh, uh, table picture that he put on Twitter? Yes, I did, but I don't remember a trident. So, Was there a trident in there? Look, the Vajra, which Vajra. Is, comes from the trident, or the trident comes from that. He had that in the lower left corner of the picture. If you go to, if you were to Google Elon Musk bedside photo, lower left corner, that is the symbol that comes from ancient Hindu that is supposed to be the most powerful uh, thing in the entire universe. Hmm. This is a staged photo. I don't know if Elon Musk is trolling or if he's literally, because he's been talking about that he thinks that his life could be in jeopardy. He's going against the you know the grain and, and, yeah. and all this freedom of speech stuff. And I don't see bottom left corner. Yeah. yeah, click on that. The Buddhism ritual object, if you Google the Vajra, V-A-J-R-A, that would it's an ancient symbol. Like how he's a cosplay gun and <laughs> caffeine free diet coke. I don't know what that's Jesus. about. He needs to get rid of those diet cokes. Oh, well, he likes it. That's yeah. those. Uh, no, um, no, <laughs> awful. Why? Have you, ever t you like that? What do you mean, like diet coke? Yeah, I don't mind diet coke. Yeah, you drink yeah. diet coke. I've drank diet coke. You're before. into that. You're into that artificial sweetener scene. Ask I'm not worried time. about it. No. Yeah. no. When I, I talk to nutritionists, I don't yeah. I don't think it's really that big of a okay. deal. Depends on how much you're drinking. I mean, it right. looks like Elon's drinking he's a shit ton of it. Because <laughs> he's got like the, the stains on the uh on the thing. But all right, yeah, so he's the bottom four of them. And they're caffeine free, which is weird. Yeah. So between that George Washington pistol and the fact this is a That's staged not a George photo. Washington pistol. That's a cosplay, cosplay pistol, pistol from a video game. No, the one above it. The musket. Oh, oh, the one above it. This is a staged photo. So the fact that he has that Vajra in the lower left corner, mm -hmm. I wonder, this is conspiracy, which I'm all into, is he essentially sending a shot off the bow to his the people who he thinks are going after him, which is that I have knowledge of something involving, because here we are, like we have Randall Carlson, you're, you're bringing back on, there's all this speculation that there has been a limitless energy device that has come from the ancients that has been essentially redeveloped and then in a short period of time, you have Elon Musk posting this picture while he's also talking about that he believes that his life could be at jeopardy. He's taking certain security precautions. This is a staged photo. It makes no sense. November 28th, 2022, my bedside table. This is at 3.48 a.m. What is this? Either he's trolling, and maybe, or is he trying... Why would he put that Vajra right in the lower left corner, the symbol that means the that other people can uh, correlate with a limitless free energy technology that may have once existed, and that's where the Trident comes from? So I don't understand how did, was the Vajra, how did it supposedly work? Oh, that is a whole other thing. Like, I that I couldn't explain, but it's... But it's supposed to re represent limitless energy? Some have said that. it's supposed. To, what it does represent in Hindu culture is the most powerful weapon and device of the universe. Do you know like any more about it, Ben? Are you a bunch of string? I no, I don't. I know this is there's the other stuff, the handbag. I was going to ask, can I oh, go yeah. pee while you guys talk about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to pee, pee too, actually. Okay. All right, let's pause. Really bad. You guys go pee. <laughs> All right, go. We'll, we'll be right back. And we're back. Are we back? We're back. That was excellent. Thank Relief. you, sir. All right. So where were we? Uh, history's bullshit. That's right. Yeah. And Elon Musk <laughs> has all the secrets. <laughs> he's got. He's got something. He's got some secrets. Yeah, I mean, he obviously felt very compelled to buy Twitter. I mean, it's not like it's not. I mean, forty-four billion dollars is a lot of goddamn money, and he overpaid for it. But That's he felt like there's a need to have some sort of an uncensored distribution of information, or at least ungovernment censored. This is why I'm such a fan of him. Anyone at this point in time that's an advocate for free speech, I'm on your side. This is, we live in a wild time. We Anyone with their eyes that's paying attention sees that there's people controlling information. And throughout history, this has been proven time and time again to lead to tyranny when you stop people from sharing things. Uh, you know, so I'm 38 years old and growing up, I remember back in the day, people could say whatever they wanted. Free speech was real. You're allowed to have it. Worst case scenario, people ridicule you and everything was fine. And now we're entering this age where things are being called dangerous, like ancient apocalypse. That's dangerous misinformation. It's like, no, the only thing dangerous is stopping people from having a voice. Well, also, when you start attributing, when you, you, you put words on that, like racism, and you start yeah. putting those kind of accusations towards some, if you watch that that special the the series and you you say oh this is racist you're a fucking idiot <laughs> i mean it's really that simple yeah. or you're a dangerous asshole who wants to change the reality of what this guy is actually talking about right Throughout history, anyone, yeah. whether it's the Nazis, the Stalinists, the Maoists, and everyone else, anyone that's ever censored people, the people who censor 
other people, they're always the bad guys historically. Always. 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 100% always. of the time. And it always leads into a bunch of people getting hurt. And it's like rinse, cycle, repeat throughout history. This is but one. This is one of the first times where educated, progressive people who think of themselves as compassionate are advocating censorship, yeah. which is so bizarre. It's the same people, actually. Same people, same argument that they made three years ago against him. The Journal of um, American Archaeology or the Society of American Archaeology dedicated 27 pages in a journal three years ago to attacking Hancock for his book America Before. Yeah. Same. Same. Accusations, same language, same people, and then what happened? I think what happened was when you know his show comes out and it's got you know you're there. I think Jordan Peterson was uh, in one of the clips, and it just I think it triggered some of the more maybe left leaning publications to go and look for what's the what are the arguments being made against this, and then that whole that whole the whole all those talking points get amplified and boosted, and it becomes this much bigger thing. But well, they're just terrified people. that they're losing control of the narrative. I mean, that's, yeah. that's a, the big part of it. And that's the same problem they have with this podcast, the same problem they have with a lot of things that can become very popular that they can't control. Right. They just hate the fact that people are just able to discuss things openly and freely without them being in control of it and getting all their greasy fucking fingers all over stuff. Right. Mm-hmm. It's unfortunate in, in more ways than one because historically it always leads to, like— a, a terrible abyss of oblivion and 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 they never stop that's the thing that once they start going after tyrannical control historically it seems like it just never ever stops until someone stops them yeah which yeah. is scary it is